from the metaphysics of morals. That such an unnatural use, and so misuse, of one's sexual attributes is a violation of one's duty to himself, and is certainly in the highest degree opposed to morality, strikes everyone upon his thinking of it. Furthermore, the thought of it is so revolting that even calling such a vice by its proper name is considered a kind of immorality. Such is not the case with suicide, which no one hesitates to publish to all the world with all its horrors, as a species facti. It is just as if mankind in general felt ashamed of being capable of such treatment, which degrades him even below the beast. Even the allowed bodily union, in itself to be sure only animal union, of the two sexes in marriage occasions much delicacy in polite circles and requires a veil to be drawn over the subject whenever it happens to be mentioned. The ground of proof surely lies in the fact that a man gives up his personality, throws it away, when he uses himself merely as a means for the gratification of an animal drive. But this does not make evident the high degree of violation of the humanity in one's own person by the unnaturalness of such a vice, which seems in its very form disposition to transcend even the vice of self-murder. The obstinate throwing away of one's life as a burden is at least not a weak surrender to animal pleasure, but requires courage. And where there is courage, there is always respect for the humanity in one's own person. On the other hand, when one abandons himself entirely to an animal inclination, he makes himself an object of a natural gratification, a loathsome thing, and thus deprives himself of all self-respect. Lust is called a natural if one is aroused to it not by a real object, but by his imagining it, so that he himself creates one, contrary to natural purpose, for in this way imagination brings forth a desire contrary to nature's end. If we give our imagination free play in sensual pleasures, to the extent of even giving it reality, vices are created which are contrary to nature and involve most serious offenses against the duties we owe to ourselves.